Joining us on Houston's Morning News is Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. Congresswoman, welcome. It's great to have you on with us this morning. Good morning to you and all of your listeners. Thank you very much for having me. You're welcome. Congresswoman, I want to play something for you and then get your response to this. Take a listen. But I do not understand what I think is the maligning and maliciousness of this president. Why is he different? And in my community, that is the question that we raise. In the minority community, that is the question that is being raised. Why is this president being treated so disrespectfully? A lot of folks in your, uh, in your district listening, uh, Congresswoman, why do you think he's being uh, treated differently, or in what way is he being treated differently? Well, I think the historical record shows that there is a difference, and over the last 100-plus years, uh, we're not at 2017, but uh, under 100 years, the a debt ceiling has been raised uh, in a way that has been perfunctory, it's are, procedural. Are, are you saying, uh, is it because you feel that, that he is uh, African-American that he's being treated differently? Well, my point is, is that uh, we have gone through a period of uh, six months on a process that should have taken one day. And, and do, uh, President do, Reagan uh, had the debt ceiling raised for now seventeen times. No, I understand. But do, uh, do you feel do you feel that it do you feel that it's because he is he is African American? I, I guess. It, if if I may just finish my point, the, the president um, uh, has been confronted by comments such as "you lie." Uh, there have been a number of incidences that I believe have shown a disrespect to the office of the presidency, which we've never shown. Is it because he's African-American? We have had a disagreement with the policy of the president, and I believe that that is a question that those who are treating him differently What do you think, though? Do you, do you think that it's because uh, he's African-American? I mean, is, I have, is that what you were I suggesting? Have raised, I have raised the question, and frankly, I believe uh, that that is a possibility. But remember now, I asked the question, it is appropriate for those who are treating him differently uh, to uh, give the answer. And might I say that a number of individuals since I made those remarks have made the same comments. Why is this president being treated differently? Yesterday, I think, was an important statement, however, and, that and, and the and adults you, in the room came together. And, and, and that was that was nice to see. I was glad to see that. And the Congressional Black Caucus uh, came together. You did vote yes on the Budget Control Act of 2011. Congresswoman, hang on for me. I, I have a, yet another question that I'd, I'd like to ask you uh, as it relates to the Tea Party and how you feel uh, about them and whether or not uh, they are kind of holding the country back a little bit. Joining us this morning, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee and uh, stick around. We've got more with the Congresswoman after we take a look at traffic and weather. KTRH News Time is 622 and joining us uh, right now is Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. And Congresswoman, thanks for uh, joining us and, and answering uh, some questions uh, for us here this morning. I, I want you to listen to this and, and I'm interested, uh, Congresswoman, woman, uh, on, uh, on your thoughts on this as well. Um, I would add to that that I would like to have a hearing on uh, right-wing extremist ideologues who uh, advocate violence and advocate, uh, in essence, the terrorizing of certain groups. Now, uh, the vice president has referred to the Tea Party folk as uh, terrorists. Uh, even John McCain has referred to them as hobbits. Are you referring to the Tea Party when you made those statements? Absolutely not. And frankly, I was in the meeting with the vice president. He did not refer to anyone as terrorists, and it is uh, absolutely absurd uh, that uh, this kind of information gets introduced into the national arena. He did not uh, say that they were acting like terrorists? I did not uh, hear the vice president refer, while I was in the room, uh, to anyone as terrorists. Uh, so I think that what we need to do is to uh, respond to facts. And my comments were in a Homeland Security hearing where I was requesting a hearing uh, on issues dealing with domestic terrorism, that all aspects of domestic terrorism should be looked at. And uh, those had to do with reports from the Southern Poverty Law Center and statistics that uh, were introduced into the record that showed uh, that there were a number of groups uh, in America that should be looked at. Can you, can you, uh, name, can, can you name one or, one or two of them uh, for me, Congresswoman? I'm just curious as to who we'd be referring to here. Well, you can uh, refer yourself to the Southern Poverty Leadership um, reports, which are about 38 pages, and it gives a whole list. Can, can, you, uh, can, you, give me, can you give me one? I mean, just... Uh, I, no, I, I would not. I would not want to list a group when I don't have the document in front of me, but I did okay. introduce it into the Homeland Security Committee 
uh, and I would hope that uh, the chairman of that committee will uh, review that, and we will have hearings as we continue to have hearings on domestic terrorism that we will go ahead and have hearings on such. But I can assure you uh, that uh, there was nothing listed on that group that would uh, uh, the name Tea Party. I did not see that, so I've never called. But, uh, Congresswoman, we, we, we have uh, this this Muslim soldier uh, that was AWOL from Fort Campbell that we saw was planning uh, an attack on Fort Hood. And again, with all due respect, it does seem to the American people uh, that it is uh, the Muslims, and these would be extremists, not all of them, that seem to want to kill Americans. Would you not agree with that? You just made a very, very important point. Uh, that there are individuals who may be of the Muslim faith who we have found uh, in the United States uh, who are interested in doing damage to the United States. I have never quarreled with that. I believe it is important, however, to distinguish those individuals and the reasons for their actions. This individual uh, seemed to be provoked by uh, Captain Hussein and whether he was going to uh, provide retribution for how the captain who's saying was treated. Right. Uh, I have been consistent uh, in my uh, commitment as a member of the Homeland Security Committee for a number of years to prosecute and find all of those who intend to do us harm and to ramp up our internal mechanisms of security. But it does us no good Congresswoman, to malign I... the large populations of Muslims in the United States, many of whom live in Houston, right. who are contributing citizens, who are physicians. And whenever I, I have the opportunity I, to stand against I them, thank, I will. I, I, and I thank you for that. Listen, I thank you for your time, Congresswoman. I hope that we get an opportunity to talk again. Have a good day. Likewise, and we voted to increase the debt ceiling for the betterment of America, and I hope that all groups will look forward to working together with the president in Thank compromise you. and moving the country forward. Thank you, Thank Congresswoman. You. Thank you Thank very you. much. All right, there she is, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson-Lee.